a new season and it's a new country, a new government. How do you feel today? Do you feel positive, optimistic about the new government? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm, I'm feeling optimistic with a caveat to it. You know, I think <laughs> it, it, the bar was so low that uh, <laughs> for improvement well, in the country uh -huh. that yeah, by 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 winning the election, he has. And by doing the easiest possible thing, which is like basically reversing a bunch of appalling executive orders, he has yeah. definitely done the easy stuff. You know, now is where the difficult parts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, at least uh, when Joe Biden speaks, is a different tone, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but again, the bar is so low. I, 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 oh, I, just, yeah. I, I think like we've got to ask more of him than basically being coherent. And there is no doubt that like, Being able to express empathy in a sentence is nice to have, uh, but also I think Black American society is entitled <laughs> yeah. to want more than that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought a lot about you and your job, uh, about the events, the riot at the Capitol. Uh, the program was not on the air in this time. Uh, yeah. What is your thought about it? I think as it was unfolding, the the, the reactions to it that I found the most irritating in a way was people saying, oh, this is unimaginable. Well, how yeah. unimaginable that this could happen here, which feels like that comes from a point of pretty dangerous complacency because it wasn't <laughs> just imaginable. It was directly predictable. And to think that you are immune as a nation from this uh, kind of uh, stuff is pretty arrogant. And, and also it's the, the, the reaction that Joe Biden tends to have. And I understand The kind of innate optimism that uh, that produces response like this, but when it, whenever he says this is not who we are, that doesn't sit very well with me because it feels like uh, it, it feels a little bit like you're brushing aside a pretty key problem here, which is it's a little bit who we are. Yeah. That's the uncomfortable truth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and how do you work the humor with your producers and writers in this particular time? For example, the capital. Uh, It was a terrible situation, uh, sure. but funny too, in a pathetic way. You know? the, the, the guy, uh, the picture with the guy who stole the lectern, um, but also people die. How do you work with the humor you yeah. show? Well, we were in the very fortunate position of not having to work on the show. Yeah. So like, <laughs> you didn't have to get into the situation where you're essentially fiddling while Rome burns. But uh, yeah, there was, there's no doubt that there, there were some striking images of that day. And at its core, what they're doing is ridiculous. It is cartoonishly stupid. The fact that the whole day begins with uh, Rudy Giuliani walking out to incite a crowd to Macho Man by the village people, it's inherently ridiculous. The problem is, like you say, people die. And a lot more people could have died than did that day. So uh, yeah, I was very, very grateful that we didn't have to do a show that week because um, I wasn't sure what, what what would have been appropriate to say or what people would have wanted or needed to hear. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Your program, as I see, is journalistic, beyond humor, is journalism. It has reports, opinion. What do you think about journalism in this moment? Hmm. In USA or in or on the world? I think, I think I can't speak on behalf of journalism. I can speak on behalf of our show and uh, uh, I think yeah. when we're, where we're happiest is diving into uh, issues that have not had a great deal of attention. And I think the problem over the Trump presidency was that he sucked up so much oxygen, it was sometimes hard to justify saying, ignore what he says, we need to talk about mobile home financing uh, because he was writ so large uh, as a personality upon politics. Whereas I've always been more interested probably in policy than people uh, or personalities. Uh, and uh, so I think the, the challenge now uh, for us and I, I guess for journalism is um, how do you hold the Biden administration to account uh, in a different way? Because it was whack-a-mole, the Trump administration. I, I am sympathetic to just how difficult it was to... Um, to report on something where it's just a volume of of lies are coming your way. So uh, I think, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, to not having to reckon with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in, in that way, it is a difficult time because uh, countries are so divided, no? like uh, USA or mm -hmm. Argentina too, um, and the vaccines, anti-vaccines. So wh what do you think about that? Yeah, it's very difficult, isn't it? Because it's, uh, the, I guess, one of the many, many issues that the virus has exposed yeah, 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 is that yeah. when, when you need collective action, the level of individualism that's been on display in America and in other countries uh, yeah. is kind of a fatal flaw. Uh, I think right, America is an individualistic society to a fault, and that fault has been on pretty unflinching display uh, in their reaction to the coronavirus. And yeah, my, my worry is that that's, that innate selfishness uh, is still going to be a problem as this year unfolds. Nice to meet you, John. Thank you very much for Lovely these minutes you, and, and good luck with the new season. You nice too. To Thanks so much, mate. Thank bye you bye. very much. Love Thank you me. very much. Bye bye.